Hi everyone, I hope you are doing fine and okay amidst the calamities that we have experienced, the Typhoon Ulysses as of late. So we are praying for our friends, our students, and our relatives from Cagayan, from Marikina, from Pampanga and Bulacan. I hope you are all well and I hope you are... Um, I hope you mag-iingat kayo palagi and our prayers are are with you we're praying for you always na mag-normalize na yung situation and maging safe kayong lahat okay so we have um, hopefully yung mga pinadala namin donations will help uh, kahit uh, in a small way lang okay so still praying for you okay so today I'll be discussing joint arrangements Okay, this is a topic in accounting for special transactions. Okay, so um, it covers PFRS 11, the joint PFRS standard, and the joint arrangement PFRS standard, and past 28, the investment in associates and joint ventures. Okay, so let's start. What is a joint arrangement? A joint arrangement is an arrangement wherein two or more parties have joint control. Okay, so para ba siyang business combination? Actually, it's the same. Okay, in concept lang na para nag-combine sila, this one is meron lang silang specific um, activity, meron silang specific kasunduan through contractual agreement, through a joint arrangement, na they have joint control. So, may, con may, um, may influence, may control silang parehas in the activities of that certain um, manufacturing or for example, is a store na joint venture nila parehas or joint operation nila parehas. Okay? So, essential elements include contractual arrangement and joint control. Ano ba yung contractual arrangement? So, this, distingu this distinguishes an interest in a joint arrangement from other types of investments. Establish establishes joint control over the joint arrangement. Ano bang laman niya? Usually, the activity, duration, and reporting obligations of the joint arrangement. So, ano ba yung sakop na activity ng joint arrangement? Yung hanggang kailan? Kasi hindi ma... Uh, if matagalan siya, hindi siya... Um, kumbaga is... Based on joint arrangement pa rin sila... Or contractual arrangement na... Hindi siya kagaya ng business combination na parang... Pak. Alam mong... Um, pag sinabi mong Jollibee Foods Corporation, alam mong under niya si Greenwich, si Red Ribbon, si Chow King, yan. Pag ikaw ay nasa isang joint arrangement, it's either joint operation or joint venture, you can still distinguish one another. Okay? So, then we have the appointment of the board of directors or its equivalent and the voting rights of the party. So, um, paano bang appointing nitong um, joint venture, na, joint arrangement na ito? And then we have capital contribution by the parties. Ano bang requirement? Si SM ba? Pag nag-joint venture or joint arrange, joint operation with Robinsons, paano ang hatian? Paano ang capital contributions? Okay. Sino ba mag... Uh, pera ba? PPE? Uh, property plan and equipment ba? Or inventory ba ang ating uh, ano? Co-contribute? Sharing by parties of the output, income expenses, or results of the joint arrangement. All of it is written in the, the contractual arrangement. Okay? So, what is joint control? Ang joint control is contractually agreed sharing of control of an arrangement which exists only when decisions about the relevant activities require the unanimous consent of the parties sharing control. So, ang Ang keyword niya is unanimous. Ibig sabihin, dapat napakasunduan yung parehas. Okay? So, you don't have control if ikaw lang yung nasusunod at hindi gusto nung yung kaparty mo. Okay? Or yung co-investor mo sa isang joint operation or joint venture. Hindi kayo nagkasundo. So, wala kayong joint control over such transaction. So, dapat may unanimous consent para masabing it's part of the joint operation or joint venture. Kasi, na consent kay parehas. Okay? So, obtain through contractual agreement with fellow investors. Financial and operating decisions requires all of the consent of the partners sharing joint control. So, nasa contractual agreement din if ano yung scope ng joint control ninyo. Okay? Kasi, not all of the activities of one 
of one venturer, venturer or operator is sakop ng joint arrangement. Okay? So, uh, sakop ng joint control or meron silang joint control, nililimitahan or sineset ng boundaries ng joint uh, ng contractual arrangement kung hanggan saan, hanggang kailan, alin-alin yun, okay, yung sakop ng joint venture or joint operation na yun, okay, na meron kang joint control, okay, so yan. It exists when all the parties share the joint control over the arrangement, act together, or collectively in directing the activities that significantly affect the returns of the arrangement. Para siyang partnership in a way, okay, na um, nagiging dapat merong consent yung mga partners para masabi mong um, it's part of the partnership transactions. Okay, so joint arrangement. There's a joint ar arrangement even if not all of the parties to the arrangement have joint control. At least two, are, two of those parties share joint control. Kasi, means it's a joint arrangement. There are four entities who agreed to be in a joint arrangement. Okay? But not all of them have joint control. So, maaring si, si A at si B lang yung may joint control over such transactions. Tapos yung the rest is investors lang. Okay? So, ang mahalaga... Um, it's either two I may share may share ng joint control okay so again not all of the parties in a joint arrangement have joint control at least two of them should have joint control okay so types of joint arrangement is sabi ko kanina is there are two types of joint arrangement based on their um, criteria uh, uh, classification, descriptions. Okay, so we have joint operation. This is a joint arrangement whereby the parties that have joint control have rights to the assets and obligations for the liabilities of the arrangement. The parties are called joint operators. So, by definition, rights to the assets and obligations to the liabilities of the arrangement. Okay, Tawag dyan, joint operators, yung parties involved. Now, we have joint venture. This this one naman is, they have rights to the net assets okay, of the arrangement. Parties are called joint venturers. Mama ng pinakaiba. Okay, so, pinakaiba niya. <laughs> okay, merong ano, merong table. So, we have... The type of investment is joint operation. It's a contractually agreed, so may contractual arrangement siya. So, then we have, yung prevailing standard niya is PFRS 11 and other relevant PFRS. Ang uh, accounting niya is recognized own assets, liabilities, revenues, and expenses, plus sharing the assets, liabilities, revenues, and expenses of the joint operation. Dun sa isa, joint venture, it's contractually agreed then. It follows PFRS 11 and past 28, that's investment in associate and joint ventures. Okay? At ang gamit na accounting method is the equity method. Sounds familiar? Yes, it's in your intermediate accounting 1B, if I'm not mistaken. Okay? Your investment. So, in order for you to refresh how to execute an equity method, okay, and then the description of oh, how to execute, kasi description equity method nandito eh. How to execute to refresh lang, you may visit again your intermediate accounting 1B. Okay? So, yan. Then, ano pa yung diff, uh, dapat i-consider in order to classify if the joint arrangement is either a joint uh, joint operation or a joint venture. Kasi, maaring pwede siyang joint, uh, pumasok siyang joint venture, pero along the way, nung ina-analyze mo, teka, parang joint operation to. Okay? So, the first step in doing this, this one, if you have encountered this in your work, pag ikaw ay accountant na, is to classify if the transaction is actually a joint venture or a joint operation. operation. Okay? Why? Kasi magkaiba accounting procedures nila. Okay? So, ano yung considered We have the rights and obligations arising from the oblig the arrangement. Ano ba yung rights and obligations na binigay ng, ng joint arrangement sa kanila? Is that, are they falling sa definition ng joint operation or joint venture? Okay? Then, we have assessing the rights and obligations in relations to, 
the structure and le legal legal form of the arrangement, the terms of the contractual arrangement, and other facts and circumstances. Sige, elaborate natin. So, we have rights and obligation arising from the arrangement. Ito yung, in, yung sa definition pa lang, kita mo na agad. So, we have rights and obligations conferred sa joint operation, assets and liabilities. Okay? Ang binigay na rights and obligations over. Pag joint venture, the net assets or the equity. Again, joint operations, they have rights to the assets and obligations to the liabilities. So, joint venture, they have rights and obligations to the equity or the net assets. Okay? What else? So, naklasify mo siya sa rights and obligations. Pero parang vague pa rin. Kasi may, may sinasabi pa siya kasi siya. May sinasabi pa kasi siya. Okay? So, we have, you need to assess the rights and obligations. First, check mo yung structure and legal form of the arrangement. Meron ba siyang separate vehicle? Mama, ano yung service? <laughs> okay, may separate vehicle siya. Ano ba yung separate vehicle in accounting terms? It's actually a separately identifiable financial structure including separate legal entities or entities recognized by statute. Reg regardless of whether those entities have a legal personality, it's either... Uh, examples of this is nakapasok siya sa limited partnership, nasa uh, corporation form siya, o kaya naman naka-financial institution siya, okay? Either way, separate vehicle yung description. No, no. I'll be giving the link of a document or a summary of this of a discussion na nakita ko over PWC. Okay? So, it's very um, elaborate and it helps in summarizing all of the examples ng separate vehicle, yung mga four-way four process. Okay? So, uh, discuss natin yung four-way process. But, I'll also upload the link for the summary niya. Ano, to help you with anong example ng separate vehicle, ano ba tinutukoy na ganito, okay? So, yun. So, we have with and without separate vehicle. So, joint operation has, uh, without pala, sorry, and joint operation is without or not structured through a separate vehicle. Okay? And joint operation, again, is without or is not structured through a separate vehicle. Okay? Sa joint venture naman, okay, if there is a separate separate vehicle, okay, yung assets and liabilities are held in a separate vehicle, it may either be a joint, joint venture or joint operation. But bakit may either? Okay, kasi, di ba sabi nga natin, assessing the rights and obligation, this is a structure and legal form. So, baka kasi, it qualifies pa. So, pwede siyang joint venture or joint operation, Meron siya separate vehicle. So, pwede siyang joint venture, joint operation. And then, paano mo pa siya iklakas, uh, i-identify? Meron pang yung sa um, ano ba yun? contractual agreement and other factors. Okay? Kasi baka naman legally, mukha siyang joint operation. Pero, yung pala, through, through checking the contractual, uh, through checking the, yeah, the contractual agreement. Okay? Kumbaga, sabi niya, in legal form, sila joint venture, pero nung chinek mo yung contractual agreement niya, parang mukha siyang joint operation. Okay? So, here we have the four-step process. Okay? I got this from a summary uh, made or a discussion made by P PwC, a guide, a practical guide to PFRS. Okay? So, we have... To guide you, is the joint arrangement structured through a separate vehicle? If the answer is no, it's a joint operation again. Okay? If the answer is yes, ito yung sinasabing, it's either a joint venture or joint operation. Kasi may sunod kang itatanong dapat. It's, does the legal form of the separate vehicle confer upon the party's direct rights to assets and obligations for liabilities relating to the arrangement? So, yung... If may rights daw and liabilities, rights rights over the assets and obligations sa liabilities, pag yes ang sagot mo, nag-fall siya sa definition ng joint operation. Pag no ang sagot mo, may itatanong ka uli. Okay? So, do the contractual terms between the parties confer upon them rights to the assets and obligations for liabilities relating to the arrangement? Okay? So, kanina legal form. Yung sunod, if 
nag-no ka, yung sunod, check mo yung con- contractual agreement nila, the contractual terms. Did it confer the rights to assets and obligations to the liabilities? If ang sagot mo, yes, automatic joint operation siya kasi it falls under the definition of joint operation. If no, ang sagot mo, magtanong ka ulit, do other factors and sub- circumstances lead to rights and assets and obligations for liabilities being conferred upon the parties to the arrangement? If the answer is yes, joint operation. If no, joint venture siya. Mamparang tira-tirahin lang naman by definition. Actually, hindi siya tira-tirahin si joint venture. Okay? So, familiar na kayo with joint venture because of the equity method. Okay? So, I'll be uploading the link where you can read this. Uh, PFR, PWC's Practical Guide to PFRS. Okay? So, yan. Next, we have joint operation. So, ito na. So, we have recognizes its own assets, liabilities, income, expenses, plus its share in the joint operations, assets, liabilities, income, and expenses. So, ganyan siya i-account. So, direct accounting of assets and liabilities applies. Para ka nag account ng regular business eh. Separate books of accounts may or may not be used for a joint operation. So, para ka mag accounting uli ng panibago dito. Okay? So, let's try this. Dayon at sana. Hindi na mahalatang to, ano, ano, once ako chart. <laughs> Multi-fandom. Dayon and Sana agreed to acquire and jointly operate an oil pipeline that each will use to transport its own oil. The, the joint operators will share equally in the pipeline's acquisition operating costs. Tingnan. The joint operators will share equally in the pipeline's acquisition and operating costs. The acquisition cost one, was $100 million and the operating costs were $30 million. Okay, so, kailangan pag nag, nag-analyze ka ng problem, ina-underline mo talaga yung important terms nila, yung contractual terms. Dayan and Sana had total sales of 120 and 150 respectively. The individual financial statement of the entities will show the following. So, ganito ang magiging tsura. Based on their kasunduan. So, we have Dayan. This falls under, ano ha? This falls under joint operation because they will share in the acquisition and operating costs and um, acquire and jointly operate an oil pipeline that each, so meron silang rights to the assets and um, obligations to the liabilities. So we have, kay Dayon, na balance sheet niya is, dahil daw shared, okay, so, yung property, plan, and equipment, ang valuation is kalahati ng total acquisition cost. 100 million divide 2 or times 50% is 50 million na kalagay sa kanya. Kay sana, it's also 50%, 50 million din. So, pagdating sa statement of profit and loss nila, sabi sa terms, ang pinaghatian lang naman nila is operating cost. Okay? So, sa sales... Kalilang kanila yung sales. Okay? So, 120 kay Dayon, kay Sana is 150. Okay? Then, the expenses, so 30 million is divided between themselves. So, kahate, 30 million divide uh, times 50%. You have 15 million each. And then, ang kay Dayon, nung nakita yung profit niya is 105. And kay Sana, you have 135. This is a rough illustration of how to how a joint operation looks like. Okay? Para ka lang you follow the narrative. Okay? So, yan. Kung baga, if you are in the, in an accountant na of a, of an entity that entered into a joint operations, titingnan mo, you observe mo. Okay? So, isasama ka sa mga ano, isasama ka sa mga meetings nila. Kung hindi ka man sumama, interviewin mo yung ano, yung mga personnel or authority, who knows uh, paano ba na-execute yung document o pwede mong hingin yung kanilang ano, yung kanilang MOA okay, Memorandum of Agreement if meron or the contract itself okay, so ganun, Tapos you have to identify using PFRS ano, so paano daw kapag no separate rec- records are maintained, ang ibig sabihin nito, yung joint operation transactions I-re-record mo siya sa sariling books, okay, the individual books of the joint operators. So, maga, hahalo siya doon. Okay, from your usual, for example, SM, 
I'm dropping names. SM Robinsons and yes, for example, SM and Robinsons entered into a joint operations. Yung usual transaction ni SM due to dahil sa kanilang mga negosyo with operations sa SM, kay Robinsons, operations kay Robinsons, yung mga normal sales nila, yung mga yung mga expenses nila ina-account dun sa books nila. Then it for example, they have made a joint joint operation to put up a Walter Mart. Okay? So a joint operation nila yung terms nila ilalay out dun sa contractual sa joint arrangement nila. And then isasama, no, separate records kasi eh. So, sar- sari-sarili nilang books, i-record yung uh, business transactions relating to the joint operation. So, masaka sa ulo yun kasi you have to actually label them na chachagain mo siyang i-label kasi hahalo siya dun sa iba. Okay? So, okay? So, let's do it. Personal accounts such as receivable from or payable to a joint operator or it can be a A ko or B ko. So, pwede daw may personal accounts like receivable from or payable to a joint operator or pwede na lang ilagay mo A ko or B ko. Yun yung ibig sabihin ng uh, pangalan ng entity nila. SM, SM Inc. Okay, Robinsons gayon. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. We have here... I ha- um, we have a RT account, right? This is adapted. We have on the debit side, okay, tandaan nyo, on the debit side of a joint operation, you have merchandise contribution. Saan galing yun, ma'am? Kasi there are um, investors or there are yung mga joint operators mo nakasama sa joint arrangement to put up a joint operation. Nagko-contribute sila ng merchandise. Okay, so sabi, sige, ako na yung bahala sa ano sa sa mga f- groceries na ilalagay sa supermarket natin. Tapos yung isa naman, sige, ako naman yung bahala sa mga uh, appliances na ilalagay natin doon sa isang store sa ating mall. So, ganon. Okay, so merchandise contribution na debit siya. Then we have purchases and freight in, na debit din. Okay, if you have made uh, uh, if you have made gastos for couriers, for deliveries, uh, freight in, in order for the merchandise or the assets to oh, to go to the place that you intend them para sila ay ma- mabenta. Okay, so yun. We have sales returns and discounts is nakadebit and then nakadebit din yung expenses nila. Okay. Then, on the credit side ng joint operation, we have merchandise withdrawal. So, pag nagbagong isip na, ay, hindi na 50 million yung lalagay kong worth na inventory dito. Gawin ko na lang, um, basa ko na lang 20 million. So, the 20 million withdrawal, with, uh, withdrawals will be credited sa joint operation. We have purchase returns and discount, nakakredit din. Credit sales or other income, nakakredit din. And then, credit unsold merchandise or the ending inventory if meron. Okay? Familiar yung ano. Familiar yung yung kanyang balances. Okay? Kasi parang the assets are nakadebit, the expenses are nakadebit. Okay? Yung usual sa accounting, uh, accounting equation natin. Then, on the credit side, yung sales, nakakredit. Okay? So, yun. So, y- if you are guided with this, okay, mababawasan yung kalituhan. Okay? So, hopefully. Okay? So, meron tayong the manager. Okay? So, like a partnership na may managing partner sa, sa isang joint operation, may ina-appoint silang manager who will, who is in charge of, of, the operations of the joint operation. Okay, so for example, SM and Robinson, sa pagkasundoan nilang, the managing um, operator na lang is SM. Okay, so yon. One or more joint operators may act as manager. So, if be, because of you, you are the manager, the bilang recognition na din of your efforts in managing the joint operation, binibigyan ng incentives, management fees, which is actually expense of the joint operation on the part of the joint operation expense siya, pero on the part of the manager's income. Okay? Remember, 
yung books nila, no separate records. Okay? Okay. Ang illustration natin na. Okay? Record assets and liabilities as labeled with JO, such as if, if, if transactions are being recorded by the manager sa books niya, if there's no separate separate record ha, ang label niya is with joint operation. So, for example, may merong involved na cash, okay, because or connected to the joint operation. Magre-record siya ng cash, cash ay nakalagay is joint operation dash, dash cash, okay? This is done if you are the manager of the joint operations, Okay? J.O. Cash, J.O. Accounts Receivable, J.O. J.O. Accounts Payable, okay? These are maintaining his own books in addition to the J.O. and personal accounts, okay? Example, Dayun Sana and Momo, for the joint operation having an equal interest in the joint arrangement. No separate records are maintained for the joint operation, so equal yung interest nila, okay? The following slides will slow a, will show a business transaction by the joint operation and how it is recorded. Assuming that there's no separate records maintained by the J.O. So, for example, Dion contributes inventory costing 100 to Sana, the manager. Dion paid the freight for 5 pesos. Okay, so si Sana yung manager. Okay, how do we record sa books ng mga joint operators? Okay, Dion, because he is the, she is the one who contributed the inventory, uh, merchandise contributions is debit sa joint operation. So, debit ka ng joint operation, 105. Okay? Kasama na dun yung ano ah. Kasama na dun yung freight in. Kasi nakadebit din naman yung freight in. Isama mo na. 100 na merchandise contribution plus 5 pesos na freight in. You have total joint operation na debit mo ah, na 105. Okay? Then, you have inventory credit kasi nabawasan si on the per, on the personal negosyo of Dayun nabawasan siya ng inventory credit ka na inventory 100 and then credit ka ng cash because you paid for the freight ana so yun next okay sana who is the manager okay siya yung ano manager of the joint operation how how the how will she record such so debit siya Joint operation, the same. Kasi merchandise yung contribution plus freight, 105. And then credit siya ng payable to Dion. Okay? These are the personal accounts of the joint operators. Okay? So, payable to Dion. Bakit? Kasi if ever, hindi naman ma-pursue yung joint operation or hindi naging successful at hindi din naman na benta itong inventory nito babalik siya kay Dayon so as as um as part of the of the standard okay lagay mo payable to the operator na nagcontribute so payable to Dayon okay so 105 the same is true with Momo's books so record siya joint operation 105 and then credit payable to Dayon 105 okay so yan next Momo contributes cash, okay, of 200 to Sana, the manager, okay? Contributions of cash, okay, it's also debit to joint operation. So, kay Dayon's books, um, debit siya ng joint operation 200, credit ng payable to Momo. Kasi isa sa uli nila yan eh, kay Momo. If hindi na pursue yung joint operation or hindi na gasto siya. So, payable to Momo 200. Then, we have kay Sana's books because she is the manager, Okay, and then the cash is related to the joint operation, okay? Ang ilalagay niya is JO-cash, okay? Of 200, and then credit siya ng payable to, kung sino na contribute, Momo, 200,000. Okay, Momo's books, syempre, debit joint operation, 200, then credit siya ng cash, kasi nabawa siya na siya ng cash na 200, okay? Ano bang goal nito? Bakit natin... Bakit natin tinitingnan lahat ng recordings ng books ng operators? Kasi dapat mag-reconcile sila. Okay? Mag, um, magtugma-tugma. Kasi pare-pare uh, naman yung nangyayari sa joint operation. Bakit hindi magkakatugma-tugma yung books nila? If ever. So, i-reconcile dapat. Kaya we're doing this to know if um, reconciled or balance sila. Okay? Nang lalabas na amount or values 
uh, according to the business transactions, okay? With assuming no separate records, ano? Okay? Sana the manager bought inventory costing 250, 200 of which I cash, and 50 I on account. 50 pesos ay on account. 200 daw kinash niya. 50 pesos utang. Okay? Na, na short si Sana. Okay? So, sa books niya da yun, because it's an, she's an operator, related ito sa transactions ng joint operation. So, we have debit joint operation. Ang record mo lang is 50. Why? Kasi, sa joint operation, nag-contribute si Momo ng 200. Okay, so merong meron ng fund ito si joint operation na kay sana. Okay, so pinambayad na yung 200 ng uh, okay na swak na sa joint operation um, joint operations cash in 200. Yung 50, okay? Ilalagay mo siya, ira-record mo siya as additions to joint operation. Okay, kasi yung 200 na record mo na nung huli, di ba? Nung nag-contribute si Momo, yung 50 dagdag mo ngayon sa joint operation. So, we have debit, joint operation, 50. Okay, and then credit, payable to SANA, 50. Okay, sa so SANA's books, so we have joint operation, the buong amount, okay, 250. Then, credit ka ng JO cash, kasi ang pinambayad mo is yung cash na kinontribute ni Momo. Tanggalin mo na siya, JO Cash, 200, at meron kang accounts payable na 50. Okay? So, yun. Then, we have Momo's Books, Joint Operation, 50, and then Credit Payable to Sana, 50. Si Sana yung nagka-utang. Okay? So, nire-record lang nila na, okay, may utang, may utang si, may utang kami kay Sana. Okay? Na 50-50. Eh, ma'am, di 100 ang papasok sa kanya. Hindi, mamaya titingnan natin ang, uh, net receipt nilang lahat. Kung magkano yung ibabayad or didistribute ni Sana sa kanila as the manager, okay, after the business transactions happen for the joint operations. Okay? Next, Sana sold goods at 800 cash. Okay? So, nagbenta daw si Sana. So, we have kay Dion's books, debit siya ng receivable from Sana. Okay? 800. And then, credit siya ng Joint operations, kasi kita natin sa t-account kanina, naka-credit ang sales and other income. Credit joint operation 800. Okay? And then, kay Sana's books, kasi naka-receive siya ng cash, so debit JO cash 800. And then, credit joint operation, kasi siya ay sales. Okay? Credit joint operations 800. Okay? Next, we have kay Momo's books, the same with Dion's books. Receivable from Sana, 800. And then, credit joint operation, 800. Okay? Next. Ma parang weird. Yeah. This is accounting for joint arrangements. Okay? Then, Sana pays operating expenses of 55 using her own money. Okay? Naka-indicate naman eh. Using her own money, not the joint operations money. So, we have Dian's books, debit, joint operations, okay? 55. Okay? Credit, May utang sila kay Sana, payable to Sana, 55. Okay? Sana's books, debit, joint operations, 55. Credit, cash, 55. This is expenses kasi, kaya siya naka-debit. Okay? Then, on Momo's books, joint operation, 55. Debit, pay, credit, payable to Sana, 55. Okay? We're done with... Char. Yeah. So... Ito, if the ending inventory is 30, so binigay na sa atin ending inventory na, how much is the profit or, or loss of the joint operation? Okay? So, we record. Joint operation, sa debit side, we have, from the past transactions, you can actually go back and look. We have merchandise contributions. Sino na contribute? Si Dayon. Okay? 105. We have Purchases and freight in. So, ito, pinagsama-sama na yung, yung binili ni Sana. And then, yung freight in from, from, ang tawag din eh? Mm, yeah, the 250. Okay? Doon sa isa, merchandise contribution. Is isinama na yung, ano, yung 5 pesos na freight ni, ni Dayon. Okay? Para, um, alam natin yung isa kay Dayon, yung isa is uh, from Sana. Okay? 
Then we have yung expenses. Isa lang naman yung na-record nating expense, which is yung operating expenses. We have 55. Sa kabilang side, credit. Yung sales and other income, 800. And then, yung unsold merchandise, indicated 30 pesos. We have a total profit from the joint operation na 420,000. Okay? Pag-ahatian daw nila, share equally ng tatlo. 420 equally shares, share equally shared by the op joint operators 140 pesos sila each okay now syempre magkakabayaran diyan meron kasi tayong payable to dayon payable to momo receivable from sana okay kanina so we do cash at all man so what if the joint operation was liquidated because of the unsold inventory is charged to momo so alam kung kanino i-charge yung yung ending inventory kay momo daw so how much are the cash settlements to the joint operators so let's look at payable to dayon so lahat ng payable to dayon na ginawa natin kanina plus yung share niya sa profit i-account natin so we have Payable to Dayon, isa lang naman yung nakita natin or ginawa natin ng account, which is yung nag-contribute siya. Okay, nag-contribute siya. Nag-credit tayo ng payable to Dayon nun. Kaya ilalagay natin siya sa credit side na um, 105. That's the inventory. Then, meron siyang share sa profit, naka-credit din. Okay? Kasi babayaran niya ni Sana. Okay? Babayaran niya ng managing, managing operator kay Dayon. Kaya payable to Dayon din siya, nakakredit din. So, 140 that's a profit. A total, bayad dapat sa kanya ni Sana is 245. Okay? Kay Momo muna tayo. Kay payable to Momo, we have, na-contribute siya ng cash. So, credit ka ng 200, okay? Kasi babalik mo yan sa kanya. And then, credit ka ng profit niya, Okay, kasi babayaran mo siya, yung share niya. So, 140. And then, sa kanya daw naka-charge yung natira. Why? Siguro kasalanan yung mamba, hindi na benta yung 30 pesos na invent char. So, i-debit mo siya, kasi bawas siya sa ibibigay ni Sana sa kanya. Okay, debit ending inventory of 30 pesos. So, bawas sa kanyang marireceive yun. Total net receipt niya is 310. So, babaayad sa kanya ni Sana is 310. Okay? Tingnan natin kay Sana. Yeah, payable to Sana. So, lahat ng payable to Sana account, hahanapin natin. Okay? So, we have 50 pesos yung inventory payable. Okay? Actually, sa recording ni ni Sana, naka-accounts payable siya. Then, doon sa partners, o oh, doon sa operators, naka-payable to Sana siya. Okay? So, 50. So, yun yung ginawa niyang na short siya. So, 50 pesos. Then, the operating expense, 55, kasi ginamit ni Sana yung sarili niyang pera, nagpayable to Sana, tuloy siya doon kay Dayon at kay Momo. So, babayaran nila si Sana. So, credit 55. Then, yung share ni Sana sa profit, that's 140. Okay? Total net receipt ni Sana is 245. Okay? Then, meron pa tayong isang account, the receivable from Sana. This is from the sales. Okay, so makakatanggap si Dayon at si Momo ng 800. Okay, hahatiin pa kasi yan. Okay, receivable from Sana, yung cash sales na 800. So, mayroon dapat ilabas si Sana na 800. Okay, total 800. Okay. So, uh, let's analyze. When you add, magiging total payment ni Sana, okay, you just add kay Dayon na 245 and kay Momo na 310. Okay? Yun lang yun. So, yun yung ibibigay niya kay sa mga operator. So, 245 plus 310, 555, okay, 555,000 ang i-share niya kay Dayon at kay Momo respectively, sa net receipts nila. Okay, pwede mo din siya makuha, yung ibabangga mo lang yung receivable from Sana na 800, okay? Then, i-minus mo yung 245, okay? If I'm not mistaken, you'll get, wala yun naman calculate, you'll get 5552 na, charo. You'll get 555, ano, if I am not mistaken. Wala kasi yung dalang, wala, uh, my, my calculator is with my kapatid. Okay. Alam mo naman, pag mabait kang ate. Pag mabait. Yeah. Oo nga. 5, 800 less 245 na dapat marireceive ni Sana, you'll get 555. 
Okay? Pwede naman na sa joint operations account na mismo yung ina-adjust. Okay? So, titingin ka lang sa books ni Dayon. Okay? Tumingin ka sa books ni Dayon, hanapin mo yung joint operations na na uh, tawag din eh, na related sa kanya. Okay? So, we have 105 inventory. Okay? Kasi naglabas siya ng inventory. So, sa books ni Dayon, 105 siya. And then, record mo yung profit niya na 140. You'll get 245. So, actually, um, ito yung payable to Dayon, payable to Momo, and payable to Sana. Nagkabaliktad lang sila ng debit credit because this is sa joint operations account. Okay? So, uh, for me, this part, itong, if joint operations yung gamit mong account, okay, medyo malilito ka. Kasi may mga nag-debit kan joint operation na 55, 50, if you remember kanina, hindi naman yung related sa kanila. Okay? Sa kanilang accounts. Kaya, uh, pwede nyo itong gawin, ingat-ingat lang sa pag-analyze. Okay? So, ako before, ginagamit ko yung payable to ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Payable to A, to B, to B, to C. Okay, anyway, just showing this too. So, sa joint operation ni Sana, 50-55-140. So, net receipt niya, 245. If pinasok mo dun sa credit side niya, si 800, okay, si 800, meron siyang total na 55 sa baba. That's actually yung payment niya kay Dayon at kay Momo. Okay, if pinasok mo siya. Pero if iniwalay mo pa rin yung 800, na sales. Okay, minus mo lang siya sa 245 na, na marireceive dapat ni sana. Okay, kumbaga na yun. Ibawas ko na yung parte ko. Okay, ito na yung papamigay ko sa inyo. So, yun. Let's examine the JO cash na nakay sana. Okay, so, debit, nag-debit ka ng JO cash nung nag-contribute si Momo at nung nakareceive ng cash sales or nung nabenta yung inventory at hit 100. And then, on the, deb on the credit side, nag-purchase si Sana ng 200 na inventory and then ipasok mo na yung ibabayad niya kay Momo at kay Dayon. Kay Dayon, 245. Kay Momo, 310. Ang matatanggap or ang tira kay Sana is 245. Okay? So, kaya siya naka-JO cash para hindi din uh, para convenient gamitin na ay pera pala to ng joint operation. Baka magastos ko. <laughs> Okay? So, yan. Next. Paano kapag separate records are maintained? Mas maganda ang separate records are maintained. Okay? Kasi mas efficient siyang gamit siya. Mas, mas convenient. Okay? And less prone to dun, errors. And um, fraud. Yan. Okay? Joint operation transactions are recorded in the separate books in the regu regular way, like an ordinary business. Okay? So, joint operators only record their own transactions. Okay? So, ang nakarecord lang sa mga books ni joint operators ay yung related lang sa kanila. Okay? Related lang sa kanilang transaction with the joint operation. Okay? So, let's see. The same, the same transaction. Dayon contributes inventory costing 100 to Sana. The manager, Dayon paid the freight for 5. Paano kapag with, with separate books maintained? Kay Dayon, kasi siya yung nagbigay, debit joint operation 105, credit inventory, credit cash. The same with yung dun sa no separate records. Pero sa book ni Sana at ni Momo, hindi naman sila nag-contribute, wala nakalagay. Okay? Pero, dahil may, meron silang separate books, sa books ni Joint joint Operation, may nakalagay. Debit Inventory, 105. Credit Dayon Capital, 105. Okay? Di ba? Parang may Dayon Capital. So, mas, uh, when you have separate books, pwede yung gamitin mo is A Capital, B Capital. Okay? So, mas, ma, mas madali siya i-maintain. Okay? Kasi nakatanggap si Joint Operation ng Inventory, debit ka. Okay? 105. Kan, sino nagbigay? Credit ka kay Dayon. Parang investment niya. Okay? Next, Momo contributes cash of 200 to Sana, the manager. Kay Dayon, kay Sana's books, wala nakalagay. Pero kay Momo's books, meron. Debit joint operation, knowing na nag-contribute siya, 200. Credit cash, nabawasan siya. Okay? Sa so joint operations books, debit, cash, kasi nakareceive siya ng 200. And then kay Momo, uh, investment ni Momo, Momo Capital, invest. 
Sana, the manager bought inventory costing 250, 200 cash, and 50 pesos on account. Okay, so, dun tayo sa joint operations box muna. Okay, so, record ka ng purchases, 250, and then credit ka ng cash, okay, cash, yung ibinayad na 200, kasi eh, meron, ka, meron kasing fund, na, meron ka kasing fund na cash, up to 200 lang, na short ka. So, pinautang ka ni Sana, okay, kunwari, okay, we have credit Sana Capital 50, Okay? Sa so, Sana's books, you have joint operation, debit, 50. Credit accounts payable, 50. Okay? Next. Sana sold goods at the amount of 800 cash. Okay? Dahil kay Sana's, kay Momo's books, wala. Okay? Kasi related siya sa joint operation yung sales. So, kanina mo lang siya record Okay? Joint operations books. So, debit cash, 800. Credit sales, 800. Okay? Then, Sana pays operating expenses of 55 using her own money. Okay, so, sa joint operator's books, we have debit expenses 55. And, sino ba nagbayad muna? Si Sana. Credit Sana Capital 55. Okay, Sana's books, you have joint operation 55 and then credit cash 55. Okay. Uh, how do you record the profit or loss? It's, it's also the same with the separate books, uh, with no separate separate books maintained method. Ganun lang din. Okay, ang maganda dito, nasa isang libro na lang siya. Okay? And then also, Parang may nag income summary ka lang. Usual, yung usual, regular business operations, how do you record it in the usual business transactions? Okay? Then, yun na. Alam mo mahirap doon? Kasi, um, nilalaro yung problem eh. Okay? Nire-reconstruct yung T-account. So, if hindi ka familiar with the T-account of how you handle cash settlements, of how you compute or how you debit credit joint operations transactions malilito ka talaga pero if you're familiar if you have mastery over this basic procedures this basic t accounts kahit mag reconstruction pa gaano pa i-reconstruct ng problem yung t account basta guided ka with the concept and then with the techniques given with uh, the contents of the t accounts okay hindi ka mawawala Okay, so, yun yung ikinahirap ni joint operations problems, okay? Pero in in real life, if you're an accountant, procedural lang talaga siya. Parang usual na nagre-record ka lang ng usual business transactions, okay? Ang pinagkaiba, this is related sa joint operations, okay? So, yun. Next, we go to joint venture. So, this is medyo familiar sa inyo because you have handled equity method before. So, the entity recognizes its interest as an investment and account for it using the equity me method under PAS 28, Investment in Associates and Joint Ventures. Okay? The equity method, again, it is initially recognized at cost and subsequently adjusted for the investor share in changes in equity. Saan siya may share? Sa profit or loss, sa OCI, sa dividends, and then the results of continued operation. Familiar na? Yes. Okay? So, let's see. Twice co entered into a joint arrangement classified as a joint venture on January 1, 20X1. Twice co acquired its 30% interest in its Inc. for 500,000 during the year its Inc. reported 1 million profit and 200 OCI. A total comprehensive income of 1.2 million. Okay? It's Inc. declared dividends of 600,000. Compute for the carrying amount of twice cost investment on December 31, 20x1. So, let's refresh the T-account of the investment in associate using, ah, uh, sorry, the investments that uses e equity method. Okay, so dito, investments in joint venture siya. So, debit ka ng initial investment that 500,000, yun yung 30% na binili niya kay pinambili niya ng 30% interest kay HC Inc. Then, credit ka, a uh, debit ka din ng share sa profit. It's either, ang gawin mo is, yung total comprehensive income na, that's your PNL plus OCI. So, 1.2 million times 30%. If you want it to be detailed, share the PNL 1 million times 30%, share the OCI 200,000 times 30%. You'll get 300,000 and 60,000. Okay? On the credit side, which is a reduction in investment in joint venture using the equity method, is the share in the dividends declared. Okay? 
600,000 yung dineclare niyang dividends times 30%. Okay, yung share, yung interest niya kay uh, It's Inc. Kasi si It's Inc. yung nag-declare ng um, dividends. So, may share si, si Twice doon sa 30%. So, credit ka ng 180, then you just foot and cross foot you'll get 680,000 the carrying amount on December 31, 20x1. Diga? Madali lang. Refresh, refresh lang tayo ng equity method. Okay? Next. So, how do you present this as statement of financial position or the balance sheet? So, the investments accounted for under the equity method, we all know that it is measured, uh, it is presented as a non-current asset. Except, <laughs> nating may exemption. Except, Kapag siya held for sale and it's accounted for using PFRS 5. Okay? So, yun. Next. Transaction between a venture and a joint venture. So, oh, paano kapag may upstream and downstream? So, sabi, gains and losses from upstream and downstream transaction between an investor and a joint venture are recognized in the investor's FS only to the extent of unrelated investor's interest in the joint venture. Okay, so hindi naman, hindi naman malimit, okay, hindi naman malimit mag-upstream, downstream dito. Pero if in case meron, only to the extent lang ng unrelated investors' interest in the joint venture, yung hindi ka nito. <laughs> yung unrelated sa kanya, okay? How about sa separate FS? How do you present this? So sa joint operator accounts using the accounting procedures discussed yung kanina, the joint operations yung ginagawa natin. Okay, kay Dayun, kay Sana, kay Momo. Sa joint venturer, this is actually accounted for using PAS 20 separate, 7 separate financial statements. So, i-discuss pa natin yan. Okay, kasi yun ay sunod na lesson. <laughs> okay, a party that participates in but does not have joint control of a joint operation or joint venture accounts for its interest using the accounting described above. Okay? So, yan. Yeah. Ay, hindi ko pala tinlo. Hindi. Okay na yan. So, we have... I'll be presenting problems which I have acquired or adapted from other other exercises, test, test banks. Okay? Sa guided exercises. Para pakita ko sa inyo how to do reconstructions of the accounts. How to deal with problems regarding joint arrangements. It's either joint operations or joint ventures. Okay? Hopefully, I can find uh, a problem na talaga na discuss niya yung lahat na. <laughs> okay, lahat na. Okay, anyway. So, see you. Thank you, guys. See you sa guided exercises. Stay safe always.